as she passed to be with the Lord on December 21st, 2018. Teresa was a very good friend of mine. We had a rapport, Teresa and I did, that when she lived in the area of our church in Mont Belvin, Texas, we, um, I would go over there at different intervals and while we would visit, I would go in the back and talk to her and visit with her. And I can tell you, I had some of the greatest visitations with this beautiful lady that I can think of anybody I've ever known in my 33 years of ministry. Her daughters used to ask her mom, their mom, how did you do it with six kids? She would simply smile and say, you were all good kids. She loved her husband dearly. She lost him in 2006. She loved to dance. She was an awesome cook, great seamstress. Everyone was always asking her for recipes. She came to know the Lord Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. She read the Bible and prayed every day. She also loved to do puzzles, she loved to color. She loved crossword puzzles. And I think I really won her heart when I started showing her that I, I loved the soul too. You know, and I her, that twinkle in her eye just looked at me and then I said, well, I got a sewing machine too, Mom. I would ask her for tips and we'd laugh and, you know, in her last days, I had to, I had to, I had to make her laugh and, and, I, and I'm gonna cherish this my heart forever. I dressed up like a clown and that look that she gave me, she gave me a chuckle and she started laughing. But the most, most of all, the things to remember about this lovely lady, and she was a lady, is the joy that she carried in her heart and the love for everybody. She would always ask about everybody. And I just want to say the honor of having the best mother in the world, the most beautiful woman that I've ever known. Mom has a big heart. She loves every one of us. Yes. She loved us so. She made our school clothes. She made our lunches. She made breakfast for us. She did a lot. Mother. And the best, the best part was that all the cooking she did. <laughs> her tamales, her mole, her chile, uh, tacos, and all that stuff. Gando. <laughs> Everybody wanted her recipes. Gando home
but she she had a need to come to the altar, and she came in tears, and she grabbed my hand and she said, Pastor, I want Jesus to forgive me. And I, I don't remember it being the time of her conversion, but I remember it being a time that she said, I got to get things ready for home. I got to get things ready for heaven. And Yolanda has the same attributes as her mother. Always a smile, never a harsh word, always showing her faith in the Lord. And I'm sure if I could sit down with the other kids I, I, and, and have a meaningful uh, talk with them, I know that they would all share with me different intimate times with their mothers and, and how she influenced their lives and how you have all influenced your children and your grandchildren. We come to glorify.